All right, folks, so May was an awesome month. It was dynamite. We had a killer, killer month with buyers and sellers and maximizing the sale price on the sellers and maximize our buyer's ability to actually get offers accepted. The brokerage is doing awesome. We've got a ton of offices out there, seven to nine offices right now that are fully operable, over 230 agents. We're humming, we're going on all cylinders. But guys, the most important thing is I wanna talk about June. And I wanna talk about thereafter. It looks as if the market's going to stay consistent. Demand, going to remain high. Supply, going to remain relatively low. Why? Folks are still nervous. Where do I go? What do I do? What are the next steps? I'd hate to sell now and buy high. So you're going to see a continued pressure on, on supply in the near term. When does it change? Probably in the next year to, to 18 months. I think at that point you'll start to see it change. And here's the one thing people aren't telling you. For two to three years, buyers have been unable to get their offers accepted. Offers of 20, 30, 30 offers on one property. Only one person gets them. What does that mean? 19 buyers stay in the pool of buyers. Every month more buyers come in the game. Every quarter more buyers come in the game. And if the listings don't keep pace with that, your buyer pool continues to get bigger and bigger. And I think it's important that we understand with the buyer pool being so big, supply demand will remain in imbalance and pricing will remain where it is. Interest rates will not start to impact pricing, in my opinion, for the next 12 to 18 months. That's what I wanna say. I think it's important we understand that. June, I'm pumped up, I'm excited. May was gangbusters. I thank all my clients and all my partners that we work with. Thank you, thank you. We'll see you in July.